Hello everyone, this is Boulder. It is the um, 3rd of July, 2014. Um, this is a DID rant, but it's not. Um, I guess we're only including it as a DID rant because um, we have people from the versions I'm going to be discussing, myself included. Um, this video was actually inspired by a comment I made to a friend on Facebook. Um, when you guys see what this is about, friend, you'll know who you are. You're inspired by madness. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to do a rant about um, Yes, Don and Coppet's Phantom versus Charles Dance's Phantom. Why? Because a lot of people think it's the same version, and it is not. Um, this is the Charles Dance version, and this is, ironically, the little booklet we got to go when we saw mine. Uh, yes, Don Coppet logo there. Okay, so I'm going to go through both versions differences start to finish so you guys can see that they are not the same goddamn version because everywhere we go even on DeviantArt everybody thinks this and this are the same version and they are not based off similar story yes but not the same version first of all Gaston and Coppet both had something to do with this one. Only Coppet uh, had something to do with this one. That should be a big top off right there. Okay, so heading from the beginning. In this one, Philippe and Christine meet while Christine is selling songs on the streets of Paris. In this one, she said something about she was singing at a country fair. Major difference. Okay, difference number two. In this one, Joseph Bouquet makes it all the way down to the Phantom's lair, literally sees where he lives, and literally sees his face, and the Phantom literally kills him. Uh, this one, Bouquet doesn't make it all the way down. He doesn't even see the Phantom's face. And the phantom does actually kill him. The phantom just turns around, startles him, and yes, there will be spoiler alerts in this. Turns around, startles him, and he just falls off. So, technically, the phantom didn't kill him. And if you notice, when him and Gerard are talking, he said, he may have seen my face. He didn't actually see it. In the Yes Don Coppet version, which by the way is the one I'm based off of, he tells Gerard, and he saw my face. Differences, people. Um, Carlotta and her husband. In Yes Don Coppet, their last name is Cholet. In Charles Dances, it's Choletti. Eh? Okay, uh, moving on, let's see, um, oh, the Bistro, okay, in the Yes, Don and Coppet one, um, it's reversed, like in the Charles Dance movie, Philippe brings up inviting everybody to go to the bistro and then the phantom's like oh yeah we've been waiting for that in the Eston and Coppet one he tells her right off the bat you are going to audition at the bistro um, another big thing about the bistro 
And yes, Don and Coppets, um, first of all, they're having a contest, and Christine sings by herself the entire time. And Charles dances, her and, you know, it's not really a contest or anything, just random people will get up and sing, but it's not really a contest. And Carlotta and Christine do a duet for a little while before Carlotta gets pissed and lets Christine finish by herself. Um, the scene after the bistro, um, it is revealed that Philippe and Christine, uh, just like in Andrew Lloyd Webber's and um, the original novel and the Charles Dance one, it is revealed that they have known each other since childhood. In the Eston and Coppet one, there is no mention of that. He literally just found her off the frackin' street. Okay, so then after that, in the Charles Dance one, that's when Carlotta confronts Christine and asks who her maestro is. In the Yes, Don and Coppet one, it doesn't happen until a little later. Um, that brings me to another difference. In the Yes, Don and Coppet one, it's pretty clear that Christine isn't exactly homeless. Like, she makes enough with her song selling to at least have semi-decent lodgings not in the Opera House. The Charles Dance Christine, however, clearly has no place to go until the doorman is like, oh, hey, you can live in this opera closet until we find something better. Um, obviously, the two shows where Christine tries to make her, her um, debut and fails are different. In Yes, Don and Coppets, it is Titania. And in the Charles Dance one, it is Faust. Um, let me think. Okay, we're, t we're technically on Act 2 now of both of them. Okay, Story of Eric. Um, basically, the only really big differences in there, there are only really two that I can really think of. Um, in Charles Dances, um, when Gerard finds Bella Dova again and she goes to give birth, he's like, oh, I just randomly took her back to the opera house and she gave birth in the stalls and yada yada yada. In Yes, Don and Coppets, however, it is discovered by Gerard that she's already living under the opera house. That's why he could not find her. Um, he, she begs him to take him, um, to take her down there because that's where she's been living. Differences, people. Um, okay, then we get to the picnic scene, I guess, or the glade scene, whichever you want to freaking call it. Um, in the Yes, Don and Coppet version, the forest is made out of opera flats and um, old cardboard cutting ends that they use from operas and whatnot. And there's no, like, taxidermy or anything like that. I don't know about the dance version. You're going to have to ask one of the dance base because, like I said, I'm Yes, Don Coppet. But, um... Yeah, so that's different. Um, in the Charles Dance version, there is no mention of William Blake, the poet. Uh, no mention of um, My Mother Bore Me or anything like that. Um, and then after the unmasking, in the Yes, Dawn and Coppet version, Christine just hightails it and runs out of there. The Phantom doesn't follow her until he sings My Mother Bore Me. And the Charles Dance one, obviously, um, she faints. 
instead of running away, she faints, wakes up, and um, he's destroying things, like in the Eston Cop, it is destroying things, but in the Charles Dance one, he grabs her, locks her up, she escapes, um, and he a actually starts to follow her, and then at the last second gives up and is like, bye. Um, in the Charles Dance one, she also goes to stay at Philippe Chateau or whatever for a few days, then asks to go back to the opera to sing in Faust, to beg the Phantom's forgiveness, and blah 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 blah. Um, in the Yes Don Coppet one, when he's done ranting and raving, which is what my mother bore me is, he goes up and tries to find her and yada yada yada. Okay, now in the Charles Dance one, um, You Are My Own is like completely different from Yes Don Coppet, so it's not even funny. Um, it's not really clear what he's sick of. Um, in the case of dance over here, he had asthma, but you know it varies from person to person or whatever. Um, but he's just very sick and like dying for no reason, I guess. Um, the conversation does differ a bit from the Eston Coppet, although it is the same concept. I'm your dad, Eric. Oh, I've known the entire time. Um, but then, obviously, you know, that happens, and Gerard goes back up, and Christine comes back, and is actually singing in Faust the entire time, pretty much, without anything happening bad, until the end, when Eric comes up, they actually sing a duet, Eric gets a standing ovation, and then the stupid police have to fuck it up and shoot at him. He grabs Christine, takes her to the roof, big fight between him and Philippe, kind of break out. Um, Philippe almost goes off the roof until Christine begs Eric to save him, which he does at the last minute. And then Eric is surrounded by police, but before the police can do anything, Gerard shoots him, he falls off the roof, and dies in Gerard's arms after Christine takes off the mask and kisses his forehead. Now in Yeston Coppet, um, like I already said, he runs up after Christine, and he's shot and wounded by one of the police and goes into hiding. Gerard finds him and that's where the You Are My Own takes place and guess what? No offense to any dance based or anything but there's actually a legitimate reason why he's dying. Obviously. Um, shot yeah. Um, in or near a very vital organ in the side and is slowly like bleeding to death. Well after you are my own, um, Gerard, you know, tries to help Eric back down. Um, same thing kind of, Philippe shows up, a fight breaks out, but instead of going to the roof, Eric just runs up some stairs onto the highest place he can get um, on the stage at that point, which is um, a Titania castle background, um, or a set, rather, and he grabs a rope and tries to swing to safety, but he's too weak, and the rope just swings back and forth. That's when he asked Gerard to kill him, and um, ag again there is something where he has to pull Philippe off of, uh, you know, out of harm's way. The Phantom does, but it's not 
off the roof, it's off the fucking opera set. Almost forgot that, but anyway, he's swinging back and forth on the rope, you know, calls out to Gerard, Gerard shoots him, and in this one, he actually dies in Christine's arms, um, with the same concept of the Charles Dance version that, um, she removes the mask and kisses his forehead, and then he dies. And then, after that, she kind of gives the body over to Gerard, who is able to hold him after he's already dead. But, um, oh, one of the biggest differences, I almost forgot, Der Boulder. Carlotta. Um, in the night, in the Charles Dance version, the Phantom just dumps rats on her after what she did to Christine, um, which in both versions, um, Carlotta gives Christine some kind of a weird drink that makes her throat go dry and she can't sing properly. Um, so in the Charles Dance one, he just dumps rats on her and pretty much so makes her go crazy. In the Yes, Don and Carpet one, uh, the Phantom electrocutes Carlotta. He basically goes back up, like in this Charles Dance, basically says, I give you a choice, stay and die, or leave, and we'll forget this ever happened. Well, she doesn't want to leave, so he kills her, he electrocutes her. Um, but anyway, as you can clearly see, um, this is not, um, this. Yes, they are similar, but there are enough differences to set these goddamn things apart, and it's really annoying, it's just really annoying how people think they're the same version, and they are not. Um, this one was actually made to see if enough people would like this to go on with them creating the show. So, like I said, they're not the same thing. Um, I'm sorry, I made you sit here for pretty much till like 18 minutes. But, um, yeah, I just figured that was something that had to be done. Um, thank you for watching this. And, um, take care.